Hey everyone, it is your boy RageGTV. So this topic has popped up a couple times in the Hilda community for the past, I don't know, ever since the show came out. And I am not gonna let my home dog be slandered and accused of such a crazy crime and be called out for absolutely no freaking reason. That's right, I'm talking about my boy Trevor. That boy could have cooked some raven like it's KFC up in here. No, but seriously though, I'm here to talk about Frida, one of the main trio in the Hilda universe. And if you already read the title, specifically, we're gonna talk about whether or not Frida actually is a bad character. So I know some of you might be thinking, Ray, why do you think Frida is bad? She's a part of the three main characters in the show. Surely she can't be that bad, right? Well, this conversation comes up from episode 9 of season 1, the ghost, in which Frida basically thinks that rooms clean by themselves and so she calls upon her friends to fix the problem when her room's not getting cleaned by themselves. She gets epically roasted by David and now the gang ends up going on an adventure to find the ghost who was cleaning her room all this time and apparently get her book back as well. And all that seems good and fun, however, the reason why this conversation is even happening in the first place is what happens at the very end of the episode where Frida outright lashes at both Hilda and David, telling them how much of a bad friend they are to her, even when they both try to help her out in the process, and Frida eventually going as far as to almost be violent with them, and in chapter 12, tries to become a Mara herself. So is this the thing people point out to Frida being a bad friend or bad character? And why people would think she's a bad character because of this ending? Well, I think it's good to note that I assume the trio have known each other for quite some time now. And while I don't know the exact timeline of each episode taking place, who knows, maybe each episode could take place six months apart from all we know. So we're just going to assume that the trio have been together for some time now and they know better for each other. So taking that into account, on chapter 9 during the whole argument with both Hilda and Frida, Frida says something that shocked a lot of us first watching. Oh really? A friend to David who won't stop poking fun at me, and a friend to you who builds up my hopes for nothing! Taking this statement into consideration, these two things have similar things in common that already happened earlier in this episode. First with David epically roasting her, and when Hilda didn't get the book back for Frida, she was trying to look for. I don't exactly know if this statement applies to earlier episodes, mainly because from what we are left to believe is that they all generally got along well with each other up until this point. But this statement seems to apply that David isn't a good friend because she believes that he had kept poking fun at him and that Hilda isn't a good friend because she quote unquote builds her hopes for nothing and mentions later that she doesn't like some of the adventures that happen as well. So when taking this statement into consideration, I do feel it's a little understandable why Frida would want to make an argument like this. Because if this was a thing that had kept happening for quite some time now, that she would probably have a problem with it after some time. However, as far as we are left to believe, David really only pokes fun at Frida in this single episode, and not too much before or after that. But when it comes to Hilda being a usual adventurer like herself always is and tagging along her friends, that doesn't seem to make Frida all that happy. And while I do admit that it would be freaking awesome to go on an adventure with Hilda, I completely understand as to why someone like Frida would not want to enjoy it after a while. But I think because in this episode Frida is having trouble trying to realize that we all will make mistakes in our lives all the time, she's pretty much left to believe that based on the whole ghost thing and assuming that her parents wanted her to grow up with the mindset of being perfect all the time, she doesn't understand that. And so she ends up blaming her friends for it until eventually saying, I'm sorry you ever moved here. Now this line shook the frick out of me when I first saw this episode. And I think it did for a lot of us because we assumed that the main trio always had a good relationship up until this very point. So with that out of the way and how Frida acted here, does this make Frida a bad friend to both Hilda and David? Well, with all this in mind, no. This is what I would like to call a mental breakdown. I'm sure all of you are familiar with them, and I think this was another case where a lot went into Frida's mind at the time, because for so long she's had to grow up with the idea that you always had to be perfect in life and that rooms clean by themselves. And so to come to face with the realization of a lot of things flashing right in front of her eyes would probably want to make her act like this way and get her so much that she disappeared from everyone else just to be with the Maras, people who we saw in an earlier episode 
as haunting scary people. So in my opinion I wouldn't exactly say that Frida is a bad character just for this in particular but it was in a moment where she was having a mental breakdown and was something that she hadn't learned about yet. And so wanting to not accept that she tries to look for other sources like the Mara in an attempt to make her feel better about it up until chapter 13 where she gets back with the Sparrow Scout team again. Frida all really just needed to know is that life isn't going to be perfect or that being perfect isn't supposed to be the norm for you as a person. Making mistakes is something we often do on a daily basis and it shouldn't reflect who you are as a person. And so her finally realizing that sort of thing is, in my opinion, is why she isn't a bad friend of character. Sure, she most certainly was rude when it comes to that whole argument they had in that earlier episode. But I think what really matters is that Frida learned how to come forward with that lesson and knowing that you can't put your frustration back on others for the mistakes you might have made. We're all going to make mistakes and we're all going to be frustrated and we're all eventually going to have to terms with what life is like now. And that's something I think is what I've seen done beautifully in this show when it does come to Frida's relationship with the gang. God, why the fuck am I acting like this over a fictional cartoon show? So basically... Frida's still a good character. So what do you guys think? Do you think Frida has some flaws or is she the best character in the show? Let me know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You too can become a Sparrow Scout. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you all later.